Is Jimmy intentionally trying to get caught in Better Call Saul Season 6? The criminality of Jimmy McGill, Bob Odenkirk, and Kim Wexler, Rhea Seahorn, has gradually intensified throughout Better Call Saul, and Season 6 brings their con crusade to its crescendo. The husband and wife partnership are targeting former boss and former friend? Howard Hamlin, partly out of revenge for always being a condescending and insufferable idiot, and partly because damage to Howard's professional reputation will force his law firm to settle a long-standing case in which Jimmy has a stake. A $2 million stake, to be precise. Thus far, Jimmy and Kim have planted fake drugs among Howard's possessions, falsified complaints of incapacity from disgruntled clients, and staged an uncomfortable altercation with a sex worker. The ploy is working. Howard's fellow legal bigwig, Clifford Maine, is now convinced he's working alongside a drug addict, and the next phase of Jimmy and Kim's plan seemingly involves impersonating a retired judge called Rand Casimiro. During Cliff Maine's intervention in Better Call Saul Season 6 of Black and Blue, Howard Hamlin figures out Jimmy McGill is framing him. The drugs, the accusations, the Wendy incident, all of it points McGill ward. Howard secretly arranges to confront Jimmy at a boxing gym, and it's here he drops the line, you didn't even try to hide your tracks. You want to get caught. Jimmy is too busy mocking Howard's offer of a fight to answer. But is there merit to Howard's theory?